Hello everybody, this is Tundi Ola of Cross Media. In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step guide on how I created this beautiful birthday flyer design using Photoshop. To start with, you need to create a new document and I named the document according to my liking. Also take note of the dimensions 3240 by 4044 and click on create. The next thing we'll do is to import the two images we used. Now, I've already isolated the images from the background, so it's easier to drag and drop them into our document. So for the first one, which is the foreground, I drop it and I scale it down, holding down the shift and hot key. So I repeat the process for the second image. And I resize. It needs to be the background, so I will drag it down in the layers panel. So I will drag it below the first image in the layers panel. Also, we create a layer mask for it in order to be able to apply transparency. Once this is done, I will select the gradient tool, making sure the foreground color is white and the background is black. This is done by simply pressing the D key, drag from the bottom to the middle. Keep doing this until you are okay with the transparency. So the next thing is for you to isolate the foreground from the background. We do this by simply creating an ellipse around the edge of the foreground image. Ensuring the color of the ellipse is white. After creating the shape, resize it and rearrange. Once you are through, Drop down the opacity of the white ellipse. I'm using 75%. Once you are through with that, the next thing is for us to create a shadow at the feet of the foreground image. So once again we select our ellipse tool and create another ellipse at the feet of the foreground image. For this particular ellipse we need to rasterize so we can apply the Gaussian blur effect. We go to the effects panel and we select blur under blur Gaussian blur. So you apply the settings as you see fit. I'm trying as much as possible to have a decent blur. I know for a fact that I can always reduce the opacity if it's too much. So you deposition your ellipse and drag it below the foreground image to create this nice effect. So next we need to start bringing in our text. We use the vertical type tool and we use the font Azomix. So we write the words happy birthday. So we format our text and resize as needed. For the color, you can use your eyedropper tool to select a color from a dress. You can increase the tracking or caning of your text. You can increase the caning of your text. Once you are okay with the text, you move on to the next step, which is to write our name. 
So for this, we'll select the font autograph. For each of these fonts, you can download them easily at any font website. Format your text as needed and also using your eyedropper tool, you can select a color from address. Once you are done with that, you write the third text, which is our last name, which is our last name. And you also format and you also format this as required. For this, I'm using Montrat regular or medium. Once you are through writing the text, you arrange. I feel I needed to shift this to the side a bit, so I move all the layers to the side. And I need to make this smaller. So also I feel I need to adjust the Gaussian blur. So next we write our designation. For this, I'm also using Montrat Medium. Once I'm done, I also write the name of the school, which is the brand Sitakab Schools. So once I'm done with this text, I rearrange. Once I'm okay with the arrangement, I move on to the next step. So I need to write our date of birth now. To do that, I'm going to be selecting a new font, Bison. I'm using a canning of 400. For the digit, I'm using Montserrat Black. And I'll make it bold. So using our rectangular tool, I create a rectangle around both the June and 6. I change the appearance by 
changing it from fill to stroke and I reduce the stroke size and I change the color as well. Because I'm already aware of the color code I want to use, I input it and I apply the same color to all of my previous text. So first, I bring in the logo of the brand. Then I input the text. I resize then I readjust the placement once that is done I write out the courtesy as a guide I use my ruler to be able to know and position it properly So just for better contrast, I create this API and I put it behind the subject. Using the desired font, I increase it. as much as possible and I reduce the opacity. So any value between 5 and 15 is fine but in this particular document I'm using 8 and I drag it down below the background layer. Our design is almost ready. The last step is to add a courtesy. So depending on my height, I rearrange just to have a better feel. So I'm trying to make more space for the text that will be under the cutscene. So our design is almost ready. So 
but better contrast I'm giving that bold and that's it now our design is ready it's left for us to export it To do this, we go to File, Export, and we export as. From JPEG, I select Great. I don't need to change any of the other parameters, and I click on where to save it. After specifying, I click on Save. Please like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting videos.